Hey guys, what's up? Vince from Grave Up Restorations in Palm Beach Jeep Club, and today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a Jeep Patriot. This is right here is a customer car, just came in for an oil change. It's a 2012 uh, two wheel drive with the four cylinder, so I don't know if that changes anything between the two wheel drive and the four wheel drive in the front um, as far as where the drain plug and the filter sit, uh, but I don't think it should be a problem. So, what you're going to need for this is some rags inch wrench for the drain plug, uh, filter wrench, probably a smaller one because it is a skinny filter, your oil, filter, funnel, and a drain pan. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the hood. There's a little latch under the hood right here. So once you pop it, you can just uh, put your finger in here and push that on up. We're going to come over here and just unscrew this cap for the oil and make sure you don't lose that. So we're just going to put it right over here. And now is a good time to check everything else over. Make sure your coolant is okay. Uh, wiper fluid, brake, or power steering fluid. Uh, check your radiator. Make sure there's still coolant in there. And just make sure all your belts, hoses, and everything else look okay. So we're going to come underneath the car. Your oil filter is right here. Right in the front, real nice and easy and your drain plug is right here on the back of the oil pan and this is a half inch bolt so we're going to use our half inch wrench and open that up all right so we're going to take our drain plug and make sure we put it at a safe distance from the oil pan because it is going to spray out so we want to just make sure that we're going to catch it all and we're going to take our half inch wrench put the closed end on it just give it a tap and that's going to come off but be careful because if your car was just recently running it may be a little hot all right so we're going to let that oil drain now and make sure you hang on to your drain plug and don't lose that So while that's draining, I was looking over the rest of the car and I noticed that we have a small oil leak coming from the oil pan, which you can tell there's a ton of RTV on it that somebody tried to do this. They probably did it at the dealership that this Jeep, this Jeep came from. Um, so we might take care of that depending on what the customer wants to do on the next oil change. Um, I would do it right now, but they're in a rush. An oil pan gasket is definitely something that you'd want to take care of just so you're not leaking all over the driveway and it'll just stop you from losing oil. So that's something we might just take care of on when it comes in for the next oil change. That way uh, the oil is drained and we're not going to be draining the oil that we're just putting into this car. Alright so now that we just finished draining the oil I'm just going to put the drain plug right back in. And we're just going to use our half inch wrench again and just tighten that back up and then once it's nice and snug just give it a little quarter turn make sure you don't over tighten it so that you don't strip the bolt or strip the thread inside the drain pan so just take your rag and just clean that up make sure that we're not going to have any oil dripping down on our driveway alright so now we're just going to come up to where our filter was and you could use your filter wrench but this one is actually hand loose so we're just gonna loosen that and just be careful because oil will start coming out so make sure we put our drain pan under it to avoid making a mess I just like to hold it here with one finger and just spin it around on my finger that way I don't drop the oil filter into the pan and all over myself Alright, so here's our filter. Just always make sure that this black um, rubber gasket comes off with it. If it's not there, make sure you check up where the filter screws on because you need to make sure that comes off, otherwise you won't get a proper seal with your new filter. Alright, so here we have our new filter, um, complete with a new rubber gasket. Um, we're just going to take a dot of oil and just rub it along the new gasket that way it uh, the gasket doesn't dry to the engine and make it really hard to get off next time and it'll uh, help seal it for a 
you know, a nice proper seal. So, um, you could fill it with oil ahead of time before you put it up, but I just think that leads to more mess than it does any good because once you turn the engine, it, it'll fill the filter by itself anyway. So, I'm just gonna screw that up here. And just make sure you thread it on gently and um, you don't wanna cross thread this either. So, just screw that up nice, tighten it down and snug it by hand. And then you could use your filter wrench or your rag and your gorilla hands and make that nice and tight. Like I said once again, you don't want to over tighten the filter because you don't want to strip the threads inside the filter or the threads on the filter housing. Alright, so now that our filter is nice and tight and our drain plug is nice and tight, we can go on back up to the top of the vehicle. So our oil cap calls for 520 oil, so that's what we got. We got high mileage. And I think it called for five quarts, so we just got a five quart jug here. Just gonna put it, take our funnel, put it right in the fill cap, pour it slowly. All right, so now that we poured our five quarts in the engine, uh, we're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and let everything sink down back into the oil pan before we can check the dipstick. So we're just gonna pull our dipstick right here. It says engine oil. Just wipe it off, take all the old oil that was on it off so that we would get a nice fresh new reading. And if you look right here, we are right in the full line. Now it's a little uh, toward the top of the safe line because uh, we didn't turn the engine over yet, so the oil didn't go into the oil filter. So once, once we turn the engine on, the oil will go into the oil filter and lower that line a little bit so we'll be right in the middle of the safe zone exactly where we need to be. So I'm just gonna take the funnel off, put our cap back on nice and tight. Our dipstick is in, our drain plug is tight, and our filter is on, so we're ready to turn the car over. All right, now that the car is on, we're just gonna look underneath. Make sure we have no oil leaks. Our filter is good. Our drain plug is good. So everything seems to be all right. And we can turn the car off now. And we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes. That way we can check the dipstick again and make sure we get an accurate reading. So now we're just gonna check our dipstick again. Wipe it off. Get the old measurement off there. Put it back, put it back in. And we're perfect, right in the middle of the safe zone. So we're just gonna put it back. Wipe everything down. Make everything nice and clean again. So on new cars like this, a lot of them have the oil change required light or change engine oil soon. Um, so we're gonna reset that light right now. So to do that, we're gonna turn the key to the accessory mode and not we're not gonna start the car. We're gonna depress the gas pedal three times slowly and we're gonna turn it back off. So we're gonna start the car. and it went away. As you can see, this says system okay, so that means we reset our oil life successfully. If that doesn't work the first time, just try it again a couple times until it says the system is okay. Whenever you do an oil change, make sure you keep the old jug and your funnel, and you can take this old oil, and pour it back in here and you can bring it back to the auto parts store for recycling. That way it's not going back into the water supply, it's not going into the ground, it's not going into the landfill. That way it goes where it needs to go. So that's very important. And I just noticed as we, um, as we filled up our oil jug, we could see that this is at four, uh, four quarts of oil. Meanwhile the vehicle requires five, so that means that we are leaking oil 
pretty bad out of the oil pan gasket so that means we're probably gonna have to address that on the next oil change that way we don't keep losing oil like that all right guys so thank you for watching um, be sure to like and subscribe and comment if you found this video helpful hopefully you guys could save a little bit of money because oil changes could run anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars depending on the shop that you go to so this oil change costed me uh, thirty four dollars to do since it was a high mileage filter and a high mileage oil um, I mean you can do it with basic oil and basic filter for about twenty twenty five dollars so um, yeah, hopefully this saved you guys some money. You learned how to work on your Jeep Patriot. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I'll be posting more videos. Um, I might be putting a trailer hitch and the oil pan gasket on this car. Um, I'm also working on the other Jeeps and the other projects. So I'll have more videos of those up soon, as soon as I get to it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.